Yo, what's going on? You tuned in to the motherfucking greatest. But yeah. wait. Yeah. This is an old episode. If you're not watching it on Patreon, then that means it's old. This has been out. People have been, had been enjoying it. So if you want the new stuff, you got to go to the Patreon, baby. If you want to when it's hot, fresh, and new out the <laughs> oven, that's right. Patreon.com slash Joe Booty Debs. There's plenty of ways to support your boys. We appreciate you in every which way, whether you're just watching or you're watching the Twitch live experience or you're doing whatever, you're just a lurker in the chat or you're a lurker mm -hmm, in this mm -hmm. or you're a lurker in that, but mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. really love our patrons. Let's do a pod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastic podcast starring your hosts, Justin, Damon, and Pops. Yeah, there's a lot of podcasts out there, but this is another fantastic podcast. Yay! Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your boy. We're back. back. We're back again. in business, and dog. Better than ever. Oh yeah. Killing it with the pod as usual. Easy Ugh. game, easy life. Billion pod listeners life. weekly. You know, you guys, it's the number one podcast in the world. We're back. You guys already know. Um, so what's new since we had done the last one? What was the last one we did? April Fools. We did uh, April Fools. That's oh, right. We're yeah. yeah, we're week two in April. It's, it's been, been a blur. It's been a while. It's been a blur. A lot of shits happened. Um, lots of uh, role play stuff back. Lots of Sekiro stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. Put and up a then dub. a dub went up, and then new we've got pipe, new we've, pipe. we've got a brand new dub coming out. 420 is going to be a big one, folks. Whoa. You heard it here. You heard it here first. We were dropping the, the bomb. Dub. This oh, version of uh, the dub, I wanted to do for a long, long time. This uh, You'll see when it comes out, but we've always talked about doing this section of the internet, dubbing it, and now it's finally happening. It feels good, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more loosey-goosey this time around. We're just using the, just, just fucking do a dub. Just do, do it, it, man. Just do, do it a dub. quick one. It's it's very classic Djibouti dub style. Having fun. Having fun. Just having it. fun with it. Just having fun. shotgunning Keeping it fresh. these dubs out. Keeping it Left fresh. Left and right. When we, it fresh. when we started, we're like, we did we need to do a skit, which we did film several skits on our 420 marathon. So mm -hmm. look forward Ooh. to that. But then it slowly progressed into something else. We're like, well, we should also do this on the marathon. Well, why don't we do this as well? well why don't we just combine them all and just do it all together? Mm -hmm. Why didn't we do this before? Yeah. And it's but, gonna be fucking amazing. And before you knew it, we had content for Twitch and YouTube. So Yeah, we always have good ideas and then we forget we have good ideas and then we do them again we're like, why don't we do, do that why didn't we ever do this we're like oh we thought of this before but we never did it it's very true very so true. we're just the genius that recycles itself it's and just constantly recycling just forgetful itself. geniuses and 420 is just such a great holiday for everyone to celebrate and just you know get around the the old tv screen light up a nice yeah. hot four knife dab and just go for it you're mm -hmm. telling me bro yeah good time so don't miss that 420 <laughs> stream looking at doing some sega saturn games too if it, Ooh, we can get it, if we can get it to work that's a plan that's a plan, right, so there's a big if you guys know us when we stream it's the troubleshooting show that's the plan those are things we wanted to get into i got a lot of we're uh, looking at what's trending mm -hmm. on the youtube yeah. there's been a lot going on in the youtube world we haven't done yeah. that in a long time oh yeah there's a whole lot going on and we want to just hop into that let's just Sounds hop good. into that first we can get in some other stuff after that all right well let's see what's been trending on the youtubes a bit, a bit. youtube okay. trending let's see here so people that are watching the video experience they get to watch along mm -hmm. otherwise we will describe in grave detail what we're looking at for those of you on the itunes mm -hmm. right now we're looking at some very sickly fingers holding the ring soggy fingers um so this video is trending these guys go out and use metal detectors so uh, i'm already i'm already so jaded by the internet and how it works mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Moses just fake? Yes. Oh, of course. Okay, yeah. I, yes. I Not even for a second. Not even for okay. a second did I think yeah. this is real. Yeah. I mean, he's got a cool metal detector. It's waterproof. He's like, he's going on. My name's Jake. Oh, I got a waterproof <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, we're all fucking got to find some. I'm going to find jewelry today. We're going to find gold right, doubloons in the sea of hot of Miami. So it's good. Your boy Jake out here. We're going deep sea diving. Uh, the title of this is very, I mean, it gives it away, I feel like. It's they found yep. They found nine wedding, wing, wedding rings. Uh -huh. Nine. Nine uh, underwater uh, while metal, uh, over $10,000. And he returned it to the owner. Oh, yeah? Wait, I'm sure. He's a good guy, dude. Jake wouldn't do that. Jake is a deep bro. Jake's not a snake, dog. Um, oh, dude, he's got some hot dude bros hanging <laughs> out with him. Yeah, they're bro. they're broing up real hard, but... 
So um, just a couple yeah, guys. How is this not completely just, fake? Just a couple bros broing out on the trending page is all I'm seeing. This is easy content to fake. Super. Too. I know. Easy. You, got, you know, these motherfuckers just went out for surfing for a day, and they're just like, dude, let's just pretend we found some shit while we're out here. Dude, you got that? You got that underwire GoPro? Dude, say you say you found like eight wedding rings. No. Nine. Just take a Nerf gun and attach a little hula hoop at the end of it and make beep boop noises. It'll be easy content. <laughs> dude, this oh my god, I found a, I this found rig. a, a hammer, dude. <laughs> this Sucking rig. treasure. Sucking treasure. Look, look how he flaps it with his hand, flaps around. And the, the, the thing is, he, dude, he that picked ring picked that was shit not. Up. He picked that shit up so quick, he knew where it was. You knew he placed it there. Like, they're oh in Hawaii. Gosh. You don't think that people don't snorkel around there? Right. Like, these shits that he's finding, they're not that low under the sand. What is this big-ass NFL ring that he found? And also, this big-ass Super Bowl ring. What who's is this? the fucking Super Bowl champion that's going deep-sea <laughs> diving in Hawaii? <laughs> Joe I lost Montana. my one-of-a-kind ring. <laughs> it's God Joe Montana, it. you dumbass. <laughs> Joe Montana? I think Joe Montana went deep-sea diving here. Dude, this guy's finding nothing but straight-up diamonds, dude. Dude, so what a come-up today. Uh, I love deep sea diving with my new rig. Check out your boy Jake. Follow me on Look, Instagram. Look at all the treasure dude. we found. Yeah, okay. Dude. I'm sure. Man, Tell we have it wrong, man. We need to be searching for treasures. He found a wet, soggy five, dude, and some fucking bicycle chain links and like six diamond rings. Damn, six, man. This appeals to like the, the eight year old in all of us, right? I was going to say, how many eight year olds went up to their parents? And, I want a metal detector. Right. I want a metal detector, mom. Give I, me the metal detector. I do I remember. I want to be a metal detector YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> a metal, metal detector, detector YouTuber. YouTuber. I remember when I was a little eight-year uh, year old apple head. We went to the beach, and my aunt was wearing sunglasses. And we went. And she went into the water, and she lost them. And they're like brand new sunglasses. And they're like, well, it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. And then like thirty minutes later, I just I looked down, grabbed them, and I found them. Yeah. Wow. Once yeah. that does not happen. One scoop, and I was like, "Whoa!" I've seen a lot of people lose dumb shit in the ocean. I saw one guy who's like, "Whoa, dude, I'm totally in the ocean," and he fucking fell and he's lost his Ray Bans. Oh, whoa! He's like, "No!" Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. two hundred fifty dollars. What you get? That's what you get for rocking them in the water. That's why I wear six dollar Ray Bans. <laughs> That's two hundred IQ. You, you wear the bootleg knockoffs. Well, I buy five of them every time because they get scuffed mm -hmm. and I lose them, and people steal them. Six bucks at your local swap meet, people. So happy. Oh, and then this video, he calls the guy he found the ring from, supposedly, like, I returned this 10,000, 18K carat diamond, diamond <laughs> ring back to the owner. Thank you for oh. returning it, young man. You, you know Jake. what? I'm so grateful, Jake. I'll let you have it. Oh, I will Jake. subscribe to your channel and comment and subscribe. Oh, Jake. I'll reimburse you in full with subscriptions. I'll have Fucking you know okay. I am a CEO of a very wealthy insurance company, <laughs> and I will reward you twofold. I am the PR representative of MeUndies. Oh, MeUndies. Yeah. Use a promo code All right, Jake. guys. So what a crazy day. As you can see, we really lucked out here. Who would have thought? Drink. Yeah, <laughs> who would have thought <laughs> MeUndies would be in collab with me? Wow. I mean, would be the oh, owner man. of this ring. What a small world. Wow. MeUndies. Oh. Use a promo code Jake. <laughs> Jake420 Jake for Jake your Jake the metal detector YouTuber <laughs> And you too Can be a winner I don't oh, know man, that that's... Like I mean, that, that... that That premise for a, for a video Is a very simple idea He was just like one of the first ones. No, there's got to be tons of these fake. I was gonna things, say this right? is this is oh. so basic. I'm sure there's a bunch of videos just like this. Yeah, I was at the beach like two weekends ago or so. I saw some fat guy out there going. Wee, 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 yeah, yeah. You always see one. You always see at least one metal detector and I, at the beach. I feel like it's smarter to do it like on the sand where people sit and shit. Yes, because people just forget Leave stuff. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But the ocean. Yeah, it's uh, a I bit mean, of a far who, who's about shit to jump moves around. Who's, who's about to jump in the ocean with a pocket full of stuff? You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, and be yeah. I honestly think those guys using those metal detectors just have like uh like little cameras on them, like like getting bikini shots, like perverts. <laughs> Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a think. little camera on the end of the metal detector. Oh, there's some there's some gold right at your feet. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh man. Oh, there's, oh, a, fuck. There, there's a treasure in your really pants. Popping off here. So, yeah, uh, metal detector YouTubers are taking over the trending page uh, this time around. So, uh, not surprised. This has a this that, has folks. like a Jake Paul.
Paul, the way it's filmed, the way it's edited vibe to everything. Is this new YouTube? Yeah, I think this is. Uh, um, I was like looking at this for a second, like I clicked a random part, and I think um, they admit one of the rings they planted and they prank. It's also a prank in here. Oh, so I what? think I, the part that I randomly clicked, I don't know where they expose it, but yeah, this dude's like geeking out. He's like, oh, "I got a fucking class, fucking NFL ring, <laughs> fucking championship, fucking Joe Montana," <laughs> and then and then his friends like tell him, "It's a prank, bro, dude. Okay. We planted it." So then I was like, "Okay, well, for everyone who maybe thought this was real, now it's like you're all full of shit." I know you planted yeah. the one. I'm sure you planted all of them. They didn't just prank him. They pranked a few million fucking people who watched this video. So these guys sit around and be like, what's a different like prank we can do that's real easy? Just get a GoPro. Just go, dude. I mean, how much of this can you do? I mean, you know what? It's not that bad compared to the old prank videos we're used to on YouTube. Dude, this is at their whole channel. No, at least actually, there's no more cook <laughs> actually, kissing yeah, videos. Never mind. He finds Megalodon teeth. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he found a Full he, found, he found eight guns, <laughs> seven works. iPhones, six GoPros, fully functional. <laughs> five <laughs> Apple Watches. I found a car. How do you find <laughs> five Apple Watches? Dude, I found a jet in the ocean. What? Oh, there's a crab running with an Apple Watch attached <laughs> to it. And he's chasing it. Dude, Mr. Crab's getting his fucking dude, iPhone watch, dude. Dude, these has got GoPro. some AirPods. Whoa. This is so fucking easy to okay. fake. This kid, this guy's full of absolute shit. dog shit. He's living shit. the life, man. He's he's out there, you know, beachside. <laughs> I found a laptop. <laughs> dude. laptop. Dude, a mermaid was logged <laughs> into their Facebook. Dude, what's your status, bro? Whoa, <laughs> update your Facebook from underwater. This guy found works. a semi-automatic pistol. Goddamn Poseidon out here blogging. <laughs> Cripping. <laughs> Poseidon's got a gat. Found that. Found a bunch He's of He's got some dope shades. I found my wife under here. <laughs> my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> found my partner under the sea. A rifle. A GoPro. Dude, an this iPhone. guy found a drone underwater. <laughs> I found Are a you crash, serious? A crashed drone. A fidget spinner. Yeah, yeah. 28 million on the fidget spinner. Wow. Dude, back when fidget spinners were popping off. This is the time to see. This oh, is when you capitalize on this. Oh, I found a, a brand late. new S10. <laughs> okay, well, in box, me the, condition. Wow. The uh, I guess the fidget spinner would be big news if this was like you know humans were a lost civilization. What is this ancient relic? It spins. It's it some Atlantis wow. relic. We believe that the humans use this to communicate with the gods. And they spin it. Footage from and he's got an ad for some war movie oh, that came out. Man. Of course, of we're, course. God damn. We're in the wrong business, boys. Seriously. Oh wow, man. He made this shit really pay off. Damn. Whoa, dude! Uh, I, I'm I'm impressed. I thought this guy would have like his other videos be like, oh, me and my friend Trevor skating and eating Carl's Jr. But oh, it's like, no, it's like all he does. I was expecting a bootleg Jake Paul channel, but no, no this like, guy is oh, straight. Stevie Ray Vaughan's foot pedal. Oh, dude, a mug from the Titanic, dude. What you doing in Nova Scotia? <laughs> a sunken <laughs> truck. He found a whole truck. Dude, a wow. golden revolver. This guy's found everything. Found Human new, remains? Found my new Yikes. pet. Whoa. Okay. I mean, there is some shit out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I mean if mean, you were to dispose of a body, you'd dump it in the ocean, right? I, I mean, mean, that's where this, you would do it. Yeah. This, this guy finds it and posts it to YouTube. I think so. Content. I don't know the best, <laughs> Content. Way, to, I don't know the best way to get rid of a body. I mean, good fellas, they just use a uh, trash heap thing. Oh, the they trash just buried a guy. Com, what do they call it? The trash thingy. You, yeah, throw somebody, yeah, you throw just, somebody in the water with some lead shoes. I love that shot in Goodfellas. We're just surrounded by all the trash. You just see this dead body going into, into <laughs> yeah. the grinder with all these bags around it. You're like, fuck. <laughs> just grind it up. And don't ask any fucking questions. Put him in the grinder. You know, he's not careful. He's going to get some fuckers chasing him. Hey, this guy found that shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, this Jake kid keeps poking around with so, his posters. Found some remains, some human remains. I wonder what it could have been. It's Jimmy Hoffa. He knows too much. We got to come out. Yeah, they call him. You better uh, keep your mouth shut. Or you'll be swimming with the Jake. fishes for the rest of your <laughs> fucking life, Jakey. You, you better stay out of the ocean, otherwise you'll <laughs> never come out of the ocean again. You understand? I'm gonna make sure you never come up to get some fresh air. You understand me? You gotta <laughs> stay down there with the fishes. Did you you only find iPhones and stick to iPhones. Oh, before oh look, before this three four years ago, this guy was fishing. Wow, and then he realized and black ops. Can't... Wow, what a fishing, change. Okay, Jake dabbles gaming, in a little bit of everything. Gaming, fishing. It's smart to branch out, Jake. Good shit. I'll give him this. For three years ago, his thumbnail game was still on point. Um, I gotta agree. I gotta agree. His thumbnails are wow. We're going all the way back to his got a mop top. 
We're going way back into Jakey's life. Wow, Jake has come a long way. GTA he, Five. He went He's from, doing role play. He went from, <laughs> from, <laughs> yes, from a scuba guy. You guys, <laughs> it's scuba Steve. We could make it big like Jake someday. We start out with GTA RP. We might be out here scuba diving for treasure. Oh. Scuba. Wow. Went from GTA RP. Well, see, this is where we fucked up. He did yeah. GTA RP, and then Bang went to nine wedding rings. G- sea and, diving. Well, that la- that one I read was insane. What was it? Eight guns, seven iPhones, six GoPros, five Apple Watches. Where are they swimming? Ugh, the river. Gonna... <laughs> the river. They're just in the river. The evidence lockup? What the fuck? Um, but the, yeah, I like it. Fuck Is that, that all it's supposed to be in one day that he found all that? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't buy it, Jakey. Uh, I don't buy it. I think you're a good con man. How does it feel living your life as a con man? Yeah. You sleep at night? Huh? I never understood huh? like those channels that That's do why it's like content. Like this super expensive, like I donated thirty thousand dollars to my favorite streamer friend thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. clicks, bro. It's clicks, dog. It's weird yeah. how content works these days. It's, it's that's it's, the newest. What's thing. the it's, biggest it's really clickbait weird. you can make? Right, that's kind of how it is now. I think that's the yeah. biggest thing. What you just said is that money giveaway shit is like huge. It's like money giveaway shit. Money, and like the top ten giveaway. Like yeah. top ten, anything. Like I don't even know what this is, but look at the big thumbnail: ten thousand dollars <laughs> worth of luggage that I found, that I'm gonna crack <laughs> it open with a sledgehammer. Found this all in the ocean. This? Found it know. all in the ocean. There's millions and millions. You of can views. buy people's luggage. That's really weird. Ew. That's kind of. I don't know. Unclaimed I luggage. Love, I love buying people's worn clothes. Mm, smelling dirty clothes. their panties. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. People smelling his. <laughs> put, <a> jock- <laughs> put a jock strap over his chin. <laughs> this guy's weird. Uh, Jake, you know what that is, right? Oh, it's a chin strap, right? <laughs> it's a chin strap. That's actually something I never thought of. What happens to all the luggage that no one claims? The, these guys go through your stuff and well, smell they your put dirty underwear. They How put a often, price on it? How often does luggage get lost like this? I guess more often than we think. People I know, apparently. Or this is another, you know, staged. It's fucking goddamn. It's to the point where that's just what I I just assume they're all staged. I fell for it. I fell for it. It's fake until proven real to me. This is his jock strap on his own chin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, might be his friends there. I don't (laughs) know. Maybe they're they're real friendly. Found some Jordans. Oh, I found eight iPods, two two laptops, <laughs> four, 48 gold to Blooties and Toonies. Oh, I'm man. rich. I'm glad I spent 10 grand because I came up 100 oh, grand. Dude, found some detergent. Dude, what a come up. No way. Kobe Bryant. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryant signed luggage. sneakers. Oh, man. Wow. He Sucks left his Kobe luggage. Bryant. It's mine now, losers keepers. I found Kobe Bryant and LeBron James shoes in the same day. Now we're just seeing it all. Buying all the lottery. Oh, yeah. Lottery ticket oh, content. Oh, yeah. I didn't easy, even think of that. Oh, yeah. Content. Um, it's weird flexing is kind of new YouTube. Right. Weird flexing. Weird flex, but okay. That that yeah. phrase takes 10, a whole new meaning. It is accurate as fuck. Lost, uh, luggage. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. yeah. G- gambling, money stuff is always a, a huge, huge. But I, I hate to say it. I hate to be the person to admit it that I would click it. I would, you do? I would watch. Ooh. I, I would watch. Well, Jakey's got you. I'm kind of in the opposite. I don't Under, really care. Under the sea. Maybe I'm jaded. Under the sea. You just fall down that YouTube rabbit hole. You can't help yourself. Doing the clickbait. Doing fake content. Under the sea. <laughs> you can find like six wedding rings. <laughs> a and golf ball or maybe a <laughs> golf, <laughs> golf ball and a laptop. <laughs> Treasures and trinkets. Yes, they are sinking under the sea. Dude, guess who's fucking back, I was boys. About to, yeah, biggest comeback of 2019. Guess Tiger who's Hood. Back. Tiger Hood. <laughs> Tiger is back, dude. Back, baby. I've always, better than ever. I've always wanted to go? say this, guys, for shizzle. You don't remember? What, what did he do? He had he, he had a huge hooker. Yeah. He had he fucked like a hundred hookers or something like that. Oh, he was no. gone. Tiger, that? Tiger was fucking. Yeah. Tiger was fucking. Dropping think... some holes in ones. Oh <laughs> yeah, aces and birdies, bro. Oh yeah. Um, what was it though? Like one of them came out. And one after the one prostitute came out, there was like just a bunch of they all started coming out the woodworks like, hey, yeah, I fucked them too. Yeah, and porn they, stars and like prostitutes whoa, but this and is, stuff. This was all while he's married, so it was like a huge scandal, right? Yeah, if you guys remember, he he drove away from his wife, and his wife like bashed in his window. I don't remember any of his shit at all. And then he no. got pulled over. He's drunk. I think he was intoxicated, so he I had thought he had like a DUI thing. or he cheated on his wife with like a, one woman. I didn't know he was like a fucking drug addict, sex addict guy. 
I think maybe the drug addict <laughs> part's a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to go. I, I just, don't know too I much about his personal I, All I remember is the meme. I just remember the meme of Tiger Woods was out here fucking. Yeah. He, he was hitting these holes and ones, man. Mm. He had a very particular type, small, petite, white, <laughs> blonde girls. <laughs> it was just his thing. Yeah. You know, he, I mean, he's, he's got to get what he's got to get. Say, that's how many of them that came say, out. That they, he I had like, a type. I really love this crowd shot. Do you guys see him? There he is. Damn! Go Tiger! Tiger! <laughs> he's literally Tiger! the one black dude in a sea of like millions of people. He's like, that's my cousin! You know, I don't really fuck with golf, but I got to show up for my boy Tiger. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. Speaking of golf, I, I, as you know, a professional purveyor of all public freakouts, there's a one that I, I kind of want to pull up now if we can tiger search clip? it. Uh, it's not a Tiger clip, but it's it is. a golf freakout? It's a golf freakout. Okay. Um, what you would have to search is golf hits crowd twice. That's golf probably it sounds amazing already. Crowd twice, two times. Yeah, golfer hits crowd. Yeah, there's the first, first one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've always been scared of oh, going yeah. <laughs> going to golfing going. events. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody's shit! Somebody's shit! I heard someone's tooth. So for the tooth people get listening to this, a woman that just oh my god, shank this into like a crowd of people. Please, quiet, quiet. Did you just hear that? She is getting ready. From the beginning again. The sound effects are so good. Yeah, here's the fucking eight teeth getting knocked out of this guy's mouth. Watch, let's just molars go flying. <laughs> Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh. Oh. It looks like, looks like that's going to be a bogey. That's going to set her back a couple strokes. And then you heard someone go, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, hit her right in the tent? Well, has this bitch never played golf before? All right, let's take number two. Let's roll up. All right, that's your mulligan. Yeah. All right, it happens. Okay. It is. That's, a, that's a mulligan for mullet lady. Attempt number two. I don't want to say anything bad about female golfers, but let's just move it on. Mulligan. <laughs> but it's not looking mulligan. too good. Let's, mulligan. What's going on? <laughs> Wait, if you look, they're you still like, attending to the injuries of the person that got hit in the first <laughs> one. This bitch is like, all right. They're like, yeah. they got that bitch on the ground, like, oh, she's coming too. And she's like, what? And then, oh. I, I want to see my favorite golf. <laughs> they didn't even clear the area first before she started hitting it again. I want to see my niece. This is her best day at golfing. Oh, who <laughs> did take out someone's ankle? <laughs> oh. Dude, an ankle and your teeth are like oh, the two your worst things. Right oh. Yeah, your, your shin would be pretty bad too. Oh, that was his foot. This guy's foot. It's gone. <laughs> Somebody stop her. Somebody get it out of her hands. She's gone she, mad with power. She's more deadly than she It's really scary. What's wrong with you? This lady on the floor. Oh. She's coming too. I always love when someone's knocked out. They say they're coming too. Yep. <laughs> Such a weird way yeah. to say that. You don't hear that too often. You know, when you get knocked out and you, you come. You Two? You came too. I, not only did I get knocked out, I came too. <laughs> I'm gonna come too. Oh, I'm gonna come too. Twice. I just get so excited and scared at the same time. Yeah, oh. yeah caming is a weird thing. Yeah, came, yeah, and came too. means a lot. It's like you're coming to life, but I guess, like, I don't know. Maybe that's where it comes from. <laughs> Maybe that's where it comes from. It's coming, all right. Oh, so yeah, if you're ever going to golf events, check your shins, people. We're, we're a hard hat. We're a mouth guard and some <laughs> niche. We're some protection. Be fully padded down <laughs> if you're in the fucking crowd, dude. Some body armor. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Game of Thrones is back. Game of yeah. Thrones! Um, where are you uh, guys on the Game of Thrones? So last uh, time I saw it, somebody died on a toilet. It's the last time I saw it. Okay, okay so that's right. probably like season five, six, Season five, maybe. it sounds like. Uh, end of season five. I'm all caught up, and I caught the season premiere too. Okay. And um, I heard it broke records. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen about this Game of Thrones, people? Yeah, it like broke Walking Dead's record for like the biggest premiere of like a new Whoa. season or some shit. Like 17.4 million people tuned in. Game of Thrones is probably the best looking show and probably the best produced show of all time. It oh, looks amazing. Every they step single up their CGI. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Because I remember the really dragons good. were like, oh, no, no, they look good now. Every single episode looks like a movie. Whoa. It's yeah. like that good quality. 
they got that kind of budget, dog. <clears throat> they oh, do. Yeah. They, oh, they yeah. spend their money on this show. HBO got that Neverland money. And I got to say, though, unlike Walking Dead, the later seasons, man, they're not letting up. They're just as good. They're so just this, as good. So this is a trending for a preview for the next episode. Right? Yes. Yeah, this is episode two. Yes, yeah, mm. they show this at the end of episode one. Yeah, I got to like get caught up, but it's like going to take me months, so. Well, I'll be out of loop for a while. You're missing probably one of the best shows to have ever come out. Well, that's good. That's <laughs> yeah. good then because I like to just marathon it. Yeah, I mean, you get to look forward to that. If you, no, no commercial breaks. If you're cool with spoilers, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got spoiled last season. <clears throat> I'll wait. And I typically don't really care about spoilers now that I'm older and I'm, you know, I make content older. for a living. People Why? just mm-hmm. want to spoil you. You can't, you can't get away from it. Uh, but the last spoilers, uh, that that pissed me off. Because Mm -hmm. I was just randomly going through Reddit, Mm -hmm. and I saw it, and I was like, God damn it. I kind of wanted that moment to see, because I'm... I'm very invested in Game of Thrones. I've read all the books, seen them all the see, all the episodes several times over. Whoa! And uh, very invested. I hate that you can get spoiled like literally anywhere now. Yeah. I've got episodes spoiled just by reading Instagram comments of yeah, all places. Yeah. Of all places, bro. And no, that you... guy fucking <laughs> killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why? Why? Huh. I kind of make it a. Uh, a kind of a rule for myself to avoid all social media, Reddit on that Sunday. Yeah, that's smart. Just because it's going to happen. Yeah, I saw uh, going back to the Neverland thing. I saw that they po- they pulled it. It's off of HBO. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, I haven't seen it on Hulu, but um. So I don't know if this is like this is again more conspiracy to this whole thing. I'm sure everyone loves that this is still going on. But yeah, the family they like some other guy <laughs> interviewed the family and got their angle. Mm-hmm. And Which wa- family? The Jackson family. Okay. Uh, so apparently there's one uh, niece of Michael that dated that Wade Robson dude. Yeah, I heard about for that. For like seven years. Mm-hmm. Like seven years. That's a long time. And they totally ignore that in the, the other documentary because it kind of discredits his story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When and, Damon um, said that, I was like, why didn't yeah. they mention that in the actual thing? Because yeah. there's, a, there's a cool narrative there that he could have explored, but I guess it would be counter to the narrative that they were trying to go I, for. That's exactly why. It's um, called Neverland First Hand. It's on YouTube. It's 30 minutes long. Who made this? So this, I'll show you who made it. I don't know who he is. It's this dude with mop top hair. He's just like, I want the other side. And he reached out and got interviews with this, I don't know, this mop top dude. Oh, it's Kenny G looking dude? Kenny, Kenny G, G slash Logic. Um, But yeah, he talks to some nephews and nieces of Michael and gets into missing parts of their story. <laughs> There's these people's story, the, the two guys, and uh, it's kind of it just makes me go right back now. I'm super in the middle because the, the Wade guy he points he paints him up to be the, everyone in here is like that guy's just an opportunist, right? Yeah, I mean that, that's what I was saying when we talked about it the first time. Is uh, even when the documentary was still up, all I was seeing was all these conspiracy videos of how the there's so many loopholes in the story in the documentary, how the stories don't add up, and yeah. like certain. Events that they claim took place couldn't have happened because certain like buildings that they claim to have been like molested in like weren't even built mm-hmm. yet and yeah. just just made up little things Convenience like that. The people, the story. yeah, the yeah. people just overlook. Mm-hmm. And so now that the shit that the, the documentary's pulled, and you see more and more documentaries like this where it's like trying to prove that it was in fact wrong. Mm-hmm. It's like I, you don't know what to think. Yeah, that's a big one about the guy who was like super sensitive, the not the dancing one, the other guy is that he was like t- going on about that train station. It's like that's where Pound Town went down every day. Yeah, and that yeah. shit wasn't made until that kid was like seventeen years old. Yeah, that's like the biggest. So one. it's like, what? So it's like, oh, fuck. Uh, and uh, yeah, just it, going into the <laughs> opportunity shit with the Wade guy. Like apparently, right when he got denied to work on the Cirque du Soleil show, is right when he like came out because I think Michael's was dead at that point, right? When they did the Cirque du Soleil show? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I guess he reached out to the family, like, yo, could I, like, do the choreography for it? And they're like, no, Michael's dead. We don't want to talk to you anymore. Mm-hmm. You're just that family that keeps bugging us and would yeah. call Michael every mm-hmm. day. And so he was like, you motherfuckers. Oh, and then yeah? that's when he came out the first time yeah. with his soul patch. He's like, yeah, I was uh, totally touched a lot, dude. Fucking happened, dude. So I'm like, dude, but... Still, it, it puts me right back in the middle, but I'm like, God damn, to lie about all this in the documentary? I'm like, it's how f- can you not get sued for defamation? I think they are, but... Fucked up thing to lie about, man. But yeah, Michael's uh, niece, she's just like, yeah, that guy's a big liar. He cheated on me like <laughs> she oh, seven like women. Michael. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't that weird? All his nephews look like him. It's weird that they look like him 
after the plastic surgery and shit. And <laughs> that's what makes that's what makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. she's very light skinned too, and uh, that's interesting. And again, it's this is supposed to be the other side of this argument, but it's still easy to fake these phone calls and things. Oh, I'm yeah. like, what if the yeah. family paid this guy to do this? So I'm like, it's still you never know. No yeah. one will ever know. But yeah, he interviews people on these <laughs> cell phone calls that like worked and recorded with Michael every day. And why, he's yeah, like, why did didn't he, bring... he why didn't you talk to him in person? Why over a cell phone? These guys are mm-hmm. busy guys that are recording big albums. I guess. Dude. I mean, yeah. you want to defend the greatest pop star of all time. I'll just take a phone call on my lunch break. <laughs> I yeah, if I was the family, I'd put some serious cash down and get these people in yeah. and get real interviews. But it's yeah. like they get a cell phone, the guy's like, I recorded him every day and those kids say they got molested in the studios, but we never had any kids in the studios ever. Ever. I was like, oh, all right, I don't know. Um, uh, I I think I heard that like Oprah made an apology and like um, said sorry for her involvement in the making of the documentary or some shit. Like oh, did that. she produce it or something? I I yeah. think so. Like she was a big part in like how it got produced and made and everything like that. He so. interviews a guy who's big on the case too, and he's going on about how Wade was like the number one witness. Like yeah. even at this age, they're like. They he got grilled by so many person like some of the best of the best that like get you to say you fucking did anything right you peed your pants once day you'd be like fuck okay I did like they <laughs> couldn't get him to say anything and like seventeen other kids all said no so I'm like fucking I, mean, I don't know it's dude like, it's like I said before man the FBI was what looking in Michael's house and his shit for like I think ten years they said and they never found anything yeah and I think if you were doing an investigation with such a sp- explicit allegations it's going to be hard to hide all that <coughs> evidence but again don't believe everything you i read. still think yeah. if you have an infinite amount of money you can get away with murder it's possible it's possible weird so, shit happens man yeah but I'll, yeah being at that level you get sued all the time true uh, they pull a clip where will will smith's like i get sued at least 20 times a year yeah like, wow. big lawsuits yeah and another thing i didn't know is everyone always their biggest point is like yo but like why did he pay him off then why did Michael pay him off? Apparently, he didn't even pay him off. Michael's insurance company paid them off. I'm sure because they just want to get the case ended. They just with. want to end it. Yeah. Because yeah. they get sued all the time when you're that big of an estate. Mm-hmm. So they just pay mm-hmm. shit off, make go away. Just yeah. go away. Yeah. We need to. He has a pool of money to make just weird, crazy people just to go away. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. And another really one, weird one in there is I don't even know if it's even worth watching. I kind of said all the biggest points of it, but the other big one is so the Jordan kid is the one that said he totally got touched, and then years later the whole family was like, "We're all so guilty. It was a big lie. We just wanted money." Like they admitted it. Mm-hmm. They wrote a book on. The, I think the dad wrote the book about his son getting molested, and in the documentary <laughs> Leaving Neverland, the exact details of the things that Michael did were from those passages of this fake book. They line it up, and it's like... Oh, convenient. He says wow. these same things in which Michael did things and liked things done to him the same way this fake book was written. Hmm. Interesting. Which is a really weird thing. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, it just doesn't really add up. Yeah. But, I mean, the only thing it does line up is Michael really loves his nipples getting touched. I think he does. I think Like, he, he really likes his nipples. Yeah. Whether like- he's right or wrong, or it was a kid or an adult, guy likes his nipples getting rubbed and touched and sucked on. I don't like having my nipples touched. There's nothing going on there yeah. at doesn't, all. It's, it's doesn't, more annoying than anything. It doesn't it's do anything nothing. for me. doesn't do anything for me. All the women out there, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I'm sure that is just a centerpiece of all foreplay. <laughs> and for me personally, I find it incredibly annoying to have your nipples fondled i'm, I'm not here is I'm, nothing i'm not even Skin. gonna lie guys I've, i'll be honest on this podcast i've had a girl try to do that kind of shit i'm just like stop it i've done what, that too what what are you doing <laughs> i'd be like stop you guys <laughs> girls suck your nipples no, no they, they didn't like they, they did they tried. they tried they <laughs> tried they tried i'm like what i'm like, I'm like stop. what whoa i'm like i think the roles are a little reversed Weird. here come on yeah i think that's their way of trying to be kinky yeah uh, but, but it's just, just like not, just stop no. it <laughs> sucking your belly button like I got something else you could suck that. I was like, yeah, you tried, you tried, but yeah, you put your mouth in the wrong. Dude, thing. gnarly. Dude, Go we get real on this podcast. This is why nipples. you guys listen. Hardcore <laughs> nipple sucking. We wilding out. Speaking of wilding out, Quasimodo's <laughs> doing the same shit out here, setting this thing ablaze. Quasi threw a party. Shit went. <laughs> we don't need no wild. Like the motherfucking so, burn. So I, I, I was at, uh, I was at work this morning, and I didn't know any of this happened. I didn't know anything about the Notre Dame thing. 
and some guy that I'm I'm he's we kid around. He comes up. He's like, "Do you hear about you? You know the thing about Notre Dame?" Do you hear about? That? <laughs> and I I thought he was making a joke that I looked like Quasimodo, and I was like, "What are you trying to say, dude? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man! Yeah, where are you going with it? this?" And he's like, "You know, isn't that crazy?" I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Whoa! And he said it was on fire. I'm like, "Oh, that sucks." Is it just yeah. like it? I see the scaffolding where they're like working on it. Some guy dropped his coffee. I think it. it's one of those things. It's like an <laughs> it's just old a hot coffee. <laughs> it's a molten lava of coffee. <laughs> I think the scaffolding is like it's an old building. They're always trying to do resurrection. It they're always it's, trying to renovate it. It's yeah. always under. It's what the always fuck a fucking is it? Shithole. I don't even know what it is. Notre, Quasi's not no, in there. The Notre Dame <laughs> Cathedral. All I know is there's a quasi freak in there with a bell. Quasi Modi left his uh, hot plate on and I'm on fire. <laughs> My coffee. No. You know what's gonna happen? People are gonna watch this podcast or listen to it and they'll be like, "Wow, so insensitive." I don't even know that, what it that is. Not a damn the piece of historical piece of property. Well, You're just gotta be more sensitive. Well, somebody burned that shit down. It's Someone not, it's not our fault. <laughs> Someone fucked up real bad. So it's a church. Yeah, I think a it's famous more of a, church. It's just a historic. It's a, yeah, short of a church. A no, church. There's no bell. No freak. I don't know. No, if there's no real freak. Down. There's no real hunchback. I don't even know if there down. was a real freak. There. No freak, no bell. Why do we care? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a suck though. That's fucking brutal, man. Yeah, I don't know. They... It sucks when you see like your city's landmark just burning, and you, there's yeah. people just watching it. They're just like, well, yeah. oh yeah, that's our fucking. There's our Disney movie burning in front of us. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of people like that streamers sucks, and man. stuff were at uh, TwitchCon EU, and they're oh, like, yeah. I was gonna go. Visit it. Oh shit. And it was burning to the ground. Do you guys know if they said like what caused it or I think the happened? firefighter said it was an accident? Um I immediately my this is how Ooh. my Oh yeah, see there's it looks like they were just like trying to work on it. Someone and fucked some, up. Yeah, somebody un, someone like plugged in a up, wire dude. to the wrong socket just You know what's crazy <sighs> is oily rags just will go on fire for no reason. If you leave an combust. oily rag out, it will just combust. And I have 100%. oily, oily skin, so you just have a handkerchief. Go, oh man, I'm working <laughs> hard. Just oil, just don't fart. Just don't fart next to it. Someone, <sighs> someone fucked up. I think someone really fucked up, and someone's gonna get fired. <laughs> oh shit, dude, you get more than fired. Yeah, just imagine being the guy that threw your cig cigarette away, like in the trash, right uh -huh. next to Notre Dame. Say Notre Dame. Uh oh, I oh, think no. that was because of me. <laughs> That's what killed it. You really think there's a freak up there? <laughs> Boy, I hope Cigarette. so. Damn, man. That's crazy, That's though. unfortunate. That, that fucking sucks, sucks dude. It's a weird, like, moment in history because there's so much footage of it. It's, yeah. To me, it's this is the saddest thing. When all, you, all the people can do is sit there and you just, just record you it. just watch it burn. Yeah, record your Twitter video. And I mean, I'm always like, how are we not technologically advanced enough that we just have a fucking giant helicopter that can just go... Boom, water, and just put it out. Well, I that know. might destroy it further. But like, yeah, destroy the actual true. historical landmark. That's true. Yeah, and I like think, get some boys up there, huh? With some, like, you know. I think the <sighs> I think it's been contained as of the moment we're saying this. So. Like, I wonder if they can't do it because they like have to evacuate people or something. It's but, like too yeah, like the shit so. that puts out like you know like the the hill fires and stuff where they drop this. They don't drop water on it, but they drop. It's like. I don't even know what it is. It's mm. like mist or like purple yeah. mist right. and it's shit. Like, yeah. It's like yeah. fire red, retardant stuff. Yeah. You know watch, what I mean? watch it with the hard art. <laughs> and then this stuff is, you know, this is like an old building. A lot yeah. of old people, old stuff going on. So <coughs> probably stinks like it's like a bunch of old shit flying yeah. through the air. Not and good I for think, you. I think as a firefighter trying to contain it so it doesn't spread to other parts oh, of yeah. the yeah. actual thing. And the parts that are on fire, they're on fire. There's it's nothing you can do about that. Dunzo. Mm -hmm. Well, shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Quasi. Sorry, Perry. It was pretty Bye, gross. Buddy. I have seen a few, like, I don't know if they're memes or anything like that, but, like, we live in this, like, Instagram generation. Like, Notre Dame's not the only thing on fire. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yikes. You guys come to my party just as lit as the Notre Dame fire. Yikes. We are the flex, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Are we going to get into this? You want to see uh, something else that's burning? <laughs> something that's going to burn my eyes? Block, oh, use God. of tobacco and violence. Uh, tobacco, huh? Speaking of things that are burning into, a, uh, in, in my opinion, Overwatch is doing new shit. I don't even know why I'm pulling it So up. when I saw the Zenyatta in a suit, I was like, why would you want to play this game? I mean... <laughs> Just it looks so dumb. I know Blizzard's going through it right now, but just the bare minimum. Recycled enemies... 
No new skins for any of these what characters. What are they doing over there? Like, dude, what are they doing? Blizzard's They're just recycling garbage, dude. everything, man. Blizzard's trash. Is this a new hero? No. No, it's no. just that's the enemy. that's the same recycled enemy from the last event. I look cool. Oh yeah. And this looks like in-game footage, not like. Uh, why is Tracer on a motorcycle? Well, They're she... doing the same fucking thing as Sonic the Hedgehog. Why does Sonic <laughs> drive a? Why does Sonic drive a car? I know he isn't. Tracer's whole thing is that she's like the fastest, uh, the fastest alive, and she can fucking thing. She can blink through time and everything. Just... So is that uh, NPC? Yeah, that's a PVE. Okay. Just, just disappointing. I but know. I mean, I just can't believe like Genji didn't get a new skin. None of that. Um, someone else got some new stuff. Keanu Reeves showing off motorcycles is in the trending page. Is it more than three? Then I'm barely a collector. He seems like a cool celebrity. I was about to say, I always see um posts normal of Keanu Reeves on like Instagram and stuff where they're just like, yo, Keanu Reeves, even though he's rich and shit, he like takes the bus, like he lives a normal life, even yeah. though he's that famous. And There's that like famous. A, he donates a lot of his like wealth to, you know, charities and more, more so than other celebs. There's a famous video like of him that. on the subway. He gives his seat up to some old older woman you're like wow he's just a normal guy yeah. that is just you know does normal shit somehow he got through all the the childhood acting thing and came out normal yeah that's a oh, lot yeah. of money i, I like, forget because he so many movies yeah he was the childhood right because um bill and ted, bill and, ted and everything yeah. yeah i forget about that he just buys a few motorcycles nothing wrong with that it's fucking john wick boy matrix it's neo dude. it's fucking it's neo. fucking neo it's like I I see Mr. him now, and my first thought is John Wick. I'm like, no, you're supposed to say he's Neo. He's Mr. fucking Neo. Anderson. I love that movie. Uh, Matrix One is still one of my favorite movies of all time. I want to rewatch so that. Good. Guys, don't hate me, but I gotta say I like I like John Wick more than more than Matrix. I, I think that speaks to the times, but I, okay. it was so impressionable when I how saw does the Matrix. Matrix hold up? I haven't That's, seen it. You know what's true? Years. Or, that is true because how many fucking Matrix parodies have you seen in movies oh. since that came out? Just the the. Slow mo where they're dodging the bullets like that. I shit think that's was, why we're all like, and even it's like the most influ one of the most influential overdone. movie moments of like all time. People even some of like this, from... like the cinematic stuff, like the when they shoot a wall and it just explodes into styrofoam. Yeah, they reuse that shot a lot. Yeah, fuck, dude. He, I, I, I've seen a lot of interviews with people talk about him being a cool ass dude. Um, he's it's, also real smart about taking pictures with people. You see him? I, I don't know if you ever seen him like take pictures with people. He keeps his hands to himself, he doesn't touch anybody. Smart. I mean, you got don't to get to he's, he's not catching any smart. case. <laughs> Nothing. He's a smart man. You can tell he's mm -hmm. smart. Smart boy. They're Good making, boy, Keanu. Uh, they're making Bill and Ted three. Yeah, you are. Yes. It's official. I saw that. It's just so weird when they when they do these movies like that and there's such a long amount of time in between. It's like back then Bill and Ted were in their teens. Now they're like, oh, we're 50. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. It's like so it's weird. It'd be like, what was he going to do? Like, oh, my kid. I, I got to worry about my son, Zach Efron. Whoa, my <laughs> kid. <laughs> Zach. Let, me, let me take over, yeah. Dad. Whoa. <laughs> Let me show you that you left off, Dad. Um, so this is a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order thing. All right. Just, I, so kill, this uh, is the when we did the E3 dub. Yes. This is the red hair lady this is the talking we can't to the guy. Talk about. Can't say anything. <laughs> can't, say oh. nothing. can't say nothing. Can't and she's say nothing. Like, <laughs> exclusive interview, can't please. <laughs> what do you have to say? So you know what's can't bullshit? What's stupid mm. is, first of all, I, it's EA, so you should automatically be skeptical about I'm, everything. Uh, the Micro, Battlefront microtransactions. Shit, right? Why is Respawn, the makers of Battlefield multiplayer games, making the single player game when they had when they had Bioware, the single player, you know, Mass Effect franchise, do Anthem? Mm. It's like, uh, you, 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 well, God, well, why? Gaba go, gaba go. You mix them all up. This hmm. looks kind of interesting, though. Like, I think this looks cool. It's like a new Jedi guy. He just looks like a normal dude. Mm -hmm. he just, he's not like shaved head man like they usually do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So would you guys say there's been more good Star Wars games versus bad Star Wars oh, games? Man. Dude, uh, Jedi power battles, dog. I don't it's know, man. Good. I, can, I can only. I'd say there's there's <laughs> definitely more worse or bad Star Wars games than good because I can count the good on one hand. I, the one thing but, I can't speak on that because everyone always talks so highly of the Knights of the Old Republic MMO or whatever. True. That's a fantastic that's, yeah, RPG. Supposedly one of the best of all time. I never got into it. Those are the two best RPGs of like that genre. So you got those. You got what? Battlefield 1 and 2. But this, game, this game looks cool. The, battle, the older ones. The, the Battlefield yeah. or Battlefront whatever. The new ones, right? 
Yeah. You just said, was it Battlefield or Front? Front. Battle front. Front. That with like a good story? Yeah. Sounds fucking cool to me. That's and you're what like I a Jedi? Yeah, think they're going for. That's what I like when they do these games where they branch out and they do new Jedi characters that we've never seen. Like when they do the movie characters, it's like ugh, more of the same. Uh, but the, it's really cool when you get to see like these, I don't know, brand new, yeah. unique characters that they it's, just make these stories. The, the story is just for the game. It's such a cool like world and. I just, I'm always disappointed by Star Wars. Like, <laughs> Me too. I'm just always disappointed. <laughs> it's such a cool idea. Like, the lightsaber is like the coolest fucking thing ever. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, when it comes to swords and movies and iconic weapons, nothing's cooler than a fucking lightsaber. Yeah, I'm nothing. Mean, people love to talk shit on the prequels, but um, I grew up with them because I, I, Guys, don't hate me, but I haven't seen the original. Oh, you weren't oh, born I in the seventies. Fucking hate you. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate no, you. I wasn't. So I had I didn't grow up on those. So like the fact that the newer movies had like almost no lightsabers, because yeah. it kind of sucked. Because do you remember how like mind blown you were when you saw the Darth Maul and that fight car choreography? Oh with those yeah, original light little boy boner made dude make it to his little boy yeah. boner time. And it's like that. Uh, that to me is what Star Wars. Is a, is a big part of Star Wars. Little boy of uh, fight boners yeah, with so, lightsabers. So them taking that shit away from the, the most recent films, it's like, ugh, it doesn't even feel the same anymore. I think uh, for me, the, the the most appeal for the Star Wars universe is the dark side and the imagery that it kind of encapsulates. Mm -hmm. Like Darth Vader is antagonist to the to the nth degree. Like he's such yeah. a cool bad guy. Yeah. You want to see him win. And that's how you make really good villains. Like a Joker, you want to see him you want to see what fucking weird shit he's going to fucking do. Yeah. yeah. You, you like rooting for the villain. I really yeah. wish uh there was more of like or if they did like flashbacks of Vader like doing dope shit cuz like in the old movies his outfit's so cool but it's so clunky. They never really yeah. did much more than just Swivel his torso left and right. I would love yeah. to see like I Darth think, Vader like well, doing. Dope I think shit. Marvel did a, a Vader comic, and they did really cool. Like, what if Vader took on an entire army? Yeah, I want to see. They that. basically yeah, did that. I'm sure. Did you see? Did you guys ever see Rogue One? Yes. There was no. a little cock tease. Oh, you didn't even see it? Yeah, that's what they did in the very end of Rogue One. They, Tried to watch it twice, fell asleep both times. I, I mean, I, I don't blame you because it's a boring-ass movie. But fell if asleep. you are able to stay awake to the very end, Vader does some dope shit. And it's just like, why are they doing this at the very end of the movie? Yeah. This is what the majority of the fans want to see. Like, Vader, Vader just fucking shit up. That's like the whole reason you sat through all the boring shit. I want to see evil dudes doing super evil, scary shit. So you're like, whoa, how are they going to fucking deal yeah. with this? How yeah. is the... The unknown female protagonist gonna conquer this one. Yeah, this one though, I have no idea what they're gonna do because I swear that the last movie they they ended everything like they cut they cut all the ties to the story progressing. They killed mm -hmm. oh, spoilers if you haven't seen it. Fuck, it's been it's on Netflix, right, like, isn't it? It's on Netflix. It's been like, out for a long ass it. time. But oh, everyone it's, dies. It's born. There's nothing left. So I'm excited. That's why I want to see so, this. So so what do they I do? Li I liked episode seven. I enjoyed episode seven for what it was. I had a good time. It was fun. Episode eight is a bunch of shit. It's it so is bad. garbage. It's so bad. There's three Skype calls. There's a four hour long chasing that goes nowhere. The romance with that Asian girl. The romance that thing. means nothing. That Dude. I, I'm not even the biggest fan of Star Wars, but I know that Luke Skywalker would never just be like, we need to stop the Jedi. We need to stop. All of the things that I've been taught my whole life. I'm just like, I don't understand. Yeah. This is so like backwards. Why are they shutting this? Discredits all, down? all the other old movies. Yeah. Skywalker like, kinda, is just a complete wash of a character. It just it's, shits on the legacy yeah. of the old ones. I think uh, that's why I want to see this just as a freak show almost. You know, what do you, what do you, where do you go from here? What do you do? Right. When the How movies are It's yeah. like, it's, and it was Abrams. I think that's why we all like the first one. And then. Whoever that guy was, and then the, and then Abrams again. So it's gonna be really interesting, just from a creative aspect, to see someone who relaunched it, made it kind of cool again. And you're like, whoa, he kind of rebooted the whole thing, and yeah. actually it was a good movie. And then someone did the sequel to that and made it shit. And then he has to do the third one where he's yeah. like, oh fuck, what'd you do yeah. to this thing that I fixed? Yeah. I gotta fix this now. He's and Disney's tossing around money, so it's one of these things. Like, it's great to have an infinite budget. But also incredibly scary because you can fuck up in so Yo, many different ways. They better hope that this shit is successful because they got the new Star Wars land opening up in Disneyland. Trust they got me, a lot of shit riding on this movie. Disney's going to market the fuck out of this thing and they're going to make their money just off of toys alone. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. So don't worry about it making its money. Everyone's going to have new outfits. Too. I like Rey as a character. 
I I want to see her. She's cool. I want to see her rise to the top. I think she has a cool look. So um, hot. I want to see it. I want to see it. This... Kylo, I'm on the fence of. I didn't like him in eight at all. I thought oh, he was kind of no. cool in seven. He was yeah. He was cool when you didn't know what he looked like or like <laughs> anything about him. He was a dork. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a little bitch boy. Uh, so this little teaser is her running and chopping it up. The chopping up this speedster coming at her. Yeah, I, I was excited for this, even though it looks kind of derpy. I was like, finally yeah. Jedi shit, Jedi shit. Uh, it's very Matrixy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, this is one of those parts where the movie theater claps too. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. looks like one of those. It's kind of it's so cheesy, like animated. If, she has to like you, run with it. I was turn like, around. She should have just stood there and do yeah. that fucking Sekiro Ichi double. Whoa! <laughs> just fucking dirt. chopping in half. That would have been sick. That'd yeah. be cool. And just splits right and back. Oh, that would. I mean, that'd have been sick. Look, look if, instead, she does this pole vaulting bullshit. Yeah. Like, if you guys, right, Spider Man, if you guys want to see this shit done right, Darth Maul does this exact same shit in Episode One. Remember where he like jumps off the speeder and like fucking attacks Qui Gon Jinn out in the desert? It looks way cooler. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. how you do it. He didn't do it all anime where he fucking looks backwards and shit. He's just like. Yeah, just staring with the lightsaber. I'm like, that. That's how you do it. Yeah, the looking back at it, I think, <laughs> is what makes it so anime for me. I'm like, Ugh, oh, this Ray, is a little cringy. Raise huh? a thought. She's looking back at it, running from it, and then pole vault. <laughs> and that jump just <laughs> looks so <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, dude, they get so crazy with the designs of shit, though. Like, yeah, that's the cool thing about the Star, Star Wars. Wars universe is you can have if if your art team can just go crazy. Mm -hmm. Each one, it gets more insane, and it's yeah. like. Well, this is like the future of like episode four. And yeah. episode four, everything's like <laughs> derpy little trash can. <laughs> like a mm -hmm. piece of cardboard. And now it's like, whoa. Boom. Christmas. It's always on Christmas, too. Yeah, I think Christmas is like their big big, big money. And also it, it fits in with uh, merchandising very well. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, Kylo, Kylo Wen. I uh, think that looks, this is how you do new toys, right? Yeah. You take something, you add a decal to it, and it's the new movie. So he's chopping up his helmet, make, or putting it back together. Reassembling S it. Saber burned Kylo Ren, limited yeah. edition. Yeah. And it looks <laughs> fucking cool. Like, is this shit going to always be glowy? Like, it looks dope, dude. I mean, he's still a dork, but he just looks a little cooler. These, the other characters... Um, this guy was cool in the first one. He was really cool. But the I, second one my ruined boy, it. I, re I really wanted him to be the love interest with Ray in eight, and it didn't happen. He was so cool in That's seven. That's what I thought they were going to do. Seven, he had the saber. He is in the snow. It was like, whoa, are we going to have two possible Jedis? And then, and then eight happens, and you and just then, go, oh. He's I'm like stuck in an pants. elevator guy. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, we got to get the boxes from the shipment. And you're like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Boxes. Yeah. Boxes. <laughs> Why do we need the boxes? Space, space We're box. in space. <laughs> you know, space box assembly is a very delicate procedure. Didn't he randomly Blame. fall? He fell in love with the Asian girl, too, that he had to save? Randomly, yeah. Did she yes. die? No. Uh, he no. likes. I don't even remember what happened. I remember you know, she... They get stuck in an elevator. It's all I remember is like they're stuck. <laughs> and like the guy has to like do a code. <laughs> I was like, stuck in so an weird. elevator, <laughs> stuck in an elevator with a romance figure. <laughs> and then this, the other pilot dude, he was stuck arguing with purple hair bitch. Yeah, that was a big part of the movie. Dude, it's like, all you're wrong, I'm right, I'm wrong. Yeah. I was all, like, who is this bitch with the purple hair? Why does she have a say in anything? All this trailer does is make me think how awful the last one was. <laughs> right. This guy's back. I'm right? old, I'm back and I'm old. <laughs> Old That's boy. what this shit is in a nutshell. Is it a pod race? This is a this is a callback to pod racing, actually. This yeah. is a pod race. Yeah, There's like a it. pod race. Now this is pod racing. Wow. Speedster pod racers. Yeah, they're on like a little pod race ship. C3PO has to show them the oh, way. Oh, and then the they fucking Leia in eight is just such a fucking bad thing. Is she CG here? No, this is actually they filmed this section, I believe. Before? Before she passed away. Okay. Wow. They get pretty crazy with that stuff, though. I wouldn't be able to tell. I wouldn't. I don't know for sure. So someone's gonna be in the comments. I mean, if you're wrong. So but. did they spoil the movie for themselves? Is this bitch a Skywalker? They they I say think the, the the speculation is: Is she the Skywalker? Is Luke still around? Was it all of? I think my no, speculation like, is Ray and Kylo Ren are the twins of Leia and. Yeah. Uh, so oh on. yeah, yeah. Because twins, that's, that's pretty obvious. Twins actually. is a very very common theme in Star Wars. Yeah, and then uh, the Emperor Palpatine. Papa Papa Palpatine's back. The power. Human Papilloma. At the very end, you just hear his, his little virus. cackle. The 
costumes look dope. Is there a new... They'll go back. There's a new droid. New bot. A little... A little little dirt webcam little webcam boy <laughs> little flesh ball little logitech c920 <laughs> in there <laughs> and then the, the death the death star this is a cool landscape and it's a very cool art design like Does someone really did sick. someone painted this and was like oh we got to make this actual shot in the movie yeah, imagine like, if the death star fell into the ocean yeah i'm like this shot is just too cool for this movie it's too dumb and then Palpatine laughs. So is it that is that Palpatine was uh, on the Death Star and it crashed into a planet and he's just been living there <laughs> off of fish and stuff? He's been living at the bottom of the ocean finding eight iPhones and a hey, bunch of gold yeah, balloons yeah. and shit. I've been yeah. hanging out with Jakey. <laughs> so here on my new uh, vlog video, we found a new laptop. Uh, what a come up today. Yeah. A um, <laughs> bunch of Avengers shits. These little clips are dropping. Um, Avengers you know what? next month or Again, next week. Uh, the only reason I want to see this, the same thing with Star Wars. The last one left you on a weird cliffhanger, and you're like, where do they go from here? Yeah. So that's what's making me I want to see it in this yeah, uh, next week. Apparently next they, week, they got a lot of a lot more story to tell because this shit's about three hours long. Hit the Ooh, bathroom before you nice. sit down. Yeah, because they gotta talk about Ant Man. <laughs> I never saw any Ant Man movies. They so gotta get you up to speed. They gotta get me up to speed on who this guy is and who and how he's gonna go up Thanos' butt. And, save the uh, day. What's her face? The new chick. So, Marvel. I uh, should, should I, Damon? Did you see Captain I Marvel? Did. Should I, I see did. Captain Marvel? Do I, do I have to? Um, no, you don't. All right, I'm not gonna see it. All right, I was gonna, you were gonna be <laughs> yeah, my deciding point whether yeah, I watch it really, or not. You really don't. I'm glad I don't have to because I didn't want to. Because like her entire story arc, you could tell in like five minutes, and I'm sure they'll do it in Endgame. Um. So yeah, Avengers, Star Wars, and uh, what a time to be a 12 year old boy! My God, you just have Avengers, Avengers and Star Wars up the butt. Star Wars, Game of Thrones, <laughs> Game of Thrones, all this shit. There's a lot April of shit is a good out. month. One Punch Man. There's a whole lot of shit out there, man. Right. Um. I was just looking at this Samsung foldable phone. I haven't even seen like a video of it or anything, but. It's pretty insane, man. We're starting to fold screens. Is, and the button works in the crease. You know what? Now that I see it, I don't like the big-ass crease. See, crease? You shouldn't like it. It looks crease. like really thin pixels. They did a good job of hiding that until just now. Yeah. It's, right? You can't fool me. Like, that does not look good. It's really insane that, like, the fold works, though. It's, like, yeah. that thin that you can still touch the home button right there on that butt crack of your phone, and it still works. Yeah, we're going to be at the point where you're going to be have, like, Screens you can literally like flex and stuff. Yeah, like your watch will literally be a screen all the way around. You remember those little like uh, novelty little snap bands? Yeah. Do a fucking snap band watch, Whoa. smart watch. That'd be fucking sick. Fucking futuristic handcuffs. Be like, say your vital shit. You're like, mm -hmm. Do you remember like the the? Uh, I remember a long time ago we saw this like picture of like a con concept art of like what futuristic phones would look like, and pretty sure it's just going to be like a just like a clear screen. Oh, just, like you know, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five? Yeah, you just that press kind of a button shit. and a hologram of 3D thing. Yeah. Like a ring, something like that. Or <laughs> just like, like a hologram like, ring. Just like imagine, just like see-through screen with just like UI on it that can just pop up out of nowhere. I think future phone technology is actually going to be a HUD. Oh, you think so? That is just you see, and it's like you pull up your Twitter feed, and it's in your eyes, and only you can see it. Oh shit! That's for, that's if I were to take a guess, eye contacts. And that's shit. where it's gonna go. It's probably gonna be an implant in your fucking brain, bro. Dude, every time Dude. I think of like the future of phones, I always go back to it's a really weird thought. But you ever seen the Stanley Kubrick Space Odyssey? Yep. You know what the I monkeys and they're around the, the the apes and they're around the giant obelisk thing? Does that not look like a smartphone? Mm -hmm. Dude, that guy was thinking, man. Yeah. That guy was fucking thinking, dude. You, you gotta seen watch it, it, dude. I've never seen it. Space Odyssey. Um, what would you Chimps. call that? Chimps. Chimps or apes. So, like, in the beginning of this movie, it's super artsy and weird, and it's a really slow movie. But uh, are they, were they chimps? Yep. So there's this thing. It's like no one even knows what this is. Stanley Kubrick had so many weird meanings and things in his in his movies. But this was made in when? Uh, 70-something. Old ass movie, right? Yeah. These oh, like monkeys the? wake up and there's this like futuristic rect black rectangle and it's just sleep. It's the dawning of Whoa. mankind's consciousness of science. And these and he like fucking just guessed this weird symbolism shit. And these monkeys see this shit and they're like, oh, 
oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, dude, this guy fucking knew what was going down. It's a symbol of today's society. He knew the cell Symbolism. phone. This looks like a fucking I, it does phone. look like my fucking phone. This S10. looks like my fucking phone. <laughs> I mean, yeah. In the fucking yeah. dawning of man, yeah. and we're just like, we're like, what the fuck? Hey, when I open up Instagram and I see big naked asses, I have the same reaction. <laughs> right? They're <all> touching it. <laughs> Look, they're like opening their their emails and stuff. They're going on Instagram. Super weird. I always think about this though, like I always because I saw this movie because everyone's like, it was where uh, this is the movie in The Simpsons where they have that thing where the robots the house. Mm -hmm. like, I oh, can't do yeah. that, Homer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where that reference comes from. So a lot like, of pop culture that... references are from that movie. Yeah, you see a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a trip. Weird random thought that always bounces around my head. Um, what is the fuck? What the fuck are we looking at now? Okay. This some, is, this some is trending. Some K-pop shit's always trending. Okay. okay. I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at here. Man, there's so many vibrant colors in Korea. So this is K-pop. Yes. Um, okay. This... He's a beautiful boy. This person well, is killing it. Are we it. sure it's a he? This person's killing it. I, they look like they, real life yeah, anime they. people. They've got crazy colored hair, cool outfits, and uh, cool style. I feel like I'm watching footage from a Final Fantasy game. Blue hair. This yeah. feels like anime. Blue mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anime boys. Boy with love. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Boy with love wants to love you, Man, girl. It's crazy how different music is. Across the pond. This is like very much like pop boy bands back in like early 2000s. Like they're just getting that wave. Yeah. But it's in 2019, so it's like edited nice and color co corrected with soft lighting and stuff. Yeah. I don't like the way this guy's looking at me. I know. Stop looking so <laughs> lustfully into my eyes. What you doing? <laughs> He's got long nails. They're like, these dudes are down with makeup. Yeah, boy. Yeah, big time. Big yeah. time. No shame. I feel like no over there, like it. style and makeup is like, yo, everyone's fucking doing it. Cult like, dude, if different. you're not fucking, you're not fucking touching you up your lips, dude. You're not getting any fucking puss, hey, dude. Hey, yeah. Dude, that blemish dude. can come out real easy. Let me buff you out, bro. Hey, what are you a bitch right now, bro? You, where's your mascara? Although I, I they all have like eye makeup too. <laughs> dude, yeah. They all they all have very soft foundation. Th that guy has lipstick for sure. Blue hair, man. So anime. Damn. So kawaii. You guys are killing it, man. Do it. Killing it. I mean, it. I, they're making it on the trending page. They're doing something right. Maybe we should. Yeah, it's rare when we get like <laughs> what the fuck? we get like music on ours from <laughs> elsewhere on right? our trending page. Uh, who was the last dude? The Gangnam. Gangnam style. Yeah. That guy made out like a bandit, huh? I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't just the one hit. He had the second one too. It wasn't game. I'm style. sure that it dude was flush with cash. Yeah, he, he's. he's I think he still has like what the most viewed video on YouTube. It's like some. It's up to like a hundred billion. Yeah, must be nice. Sheesh. Uh, speaking of billions, Lion King, the return. Uh, you guys, I'm so I'm so excited to watch Mufasa die in 3D. This Whoa, is just, spoilers! Scar looks cool. Scar looks cool, but I I'm gonna cry all over again. I'm not even. Gonna, there's no shame in it. I'm not gonna lie. Do they, uh, when they did Jungle Book, they kept the songs the same, right? They didn't change them? Yeah, I think uh, they like might have changed a few they, lines. Like the, the sound of it's different. Yeah, but yeah. yeah they re recorded the it part. with like new voices and stuff, but yeah, they kept the songs the same. I think some lines are a little bit different, a little bit more of the time. Did you guys see the live action Jungle Book? Mm -hmm. That's the only live action Disney movie re remaster I've seen. Yeah, it reminds me, I just think of Christopher Walken as the giant King Louis. Yeah. But it was really good, so that's why I'm like, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I, this is gonna be Lion really King is Shakespeare with a modern touch to it and cool, you know, cinematics, and this looks great. Yeah, I mean, Disney's this is Disney's their art department is phenomenal. This is that's their crazy. shit, dude. Lion King, and then Lion King as just a playground for all the colors and the yeah. settings. Like, is and Lion King not like that. their main shit, like Disney? Lion I King. feel like yeah, yeah, one of Lion them. King is like their biggest thing, right? Mm-hmm. Other than like the new shit, like Frozen or whatever, but it's weird seeing Timon and Pumbaa real. Yeah, that's weird to me. Yeah, I don't know why nothing else bothers me, but Timon and Pumbaa, they're so ugly. I think. Yeah, the real animals are so <laughs> ugly. Like the warthog the, is the boar. Yeah, it's so the voice gross. acting has to be really phenomenal for those two characters for them to be comedic. Yeah, I don't even get to hear who does their voice because it's it's like aside from Mufasa, it's like all new people, right? Like okay. I think Seth it'll be Rogan, like Seth Rogen and someone I don't know. And Beyonce. They got Beyonce. Nose Carter. 
Hmm. But dude, my boy, James Earl Jones. Darth Vader. Still, still kicking. dude. Still out here killing it. Sorry. Dude. And the Lion King soundtrack Ooh. is top tier. There, it's very little. Can you feel? Uh, off from top to bottom. That's a killer soundtrack. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is way up on the trending page. Um, Who is this? Jeffrey is this? Star. Jeffrey Star. I guess we're watching a makeup tutorial from the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, he's going to do your makeup and suck you off whether you like it shave or not off. okay is it part of makeup to shave off your eyebrows he kind of looks like the eyebrow if a you know like uh remember the wizard like the evil wizard from um lord of the rings Sar saruman yeah. yeah if he got really into makeup tutorials <laughs> next i will show you how to apply your foundation <laughs> <laughs> little damn hobbit <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude's like an evil sorcerer <laughs> who became obsessed with makeup and fashion. An evil sorcerer of the makeup Looks arts. like a warlock. You will bow before my matching Adidas purple lavender jumpsuit. <laughs> but he's like, all, yeah, he's, he's so all evil too up. with the tattoos. It's like a yeah. biker. Yeah. It's like. It's so weird. I feel like you were a biker and then wizard and then makeup guy. Mm -hmm. That's, what, it looks, that's <laughs> in, what it looks like we're looking in at. In that order. And here oh. is my trusty sock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that old man. He's got a <laughs> whatever he's got you'll a little say, my sock. Uh, whatever you'll say, my sock. Lip injection site. <laughs> oh, yo, that's Ew. a collagen injection. Collagen yeah. injection site. I can't feel my lips. <laughs> <laughs> my lips. <laughs> Keep biting my lips. I'm so sorry, sorry, Wow. Dude, his nails are pretty cool, though. They like they're excited. jewels. They've got ancient healing crystals on them. It ain't easy being so. Glam. So is it that I'm I'm sure this is mostly directed towards women doing makeup tutorials. But right? really, what is are you, the, why? Why do you what think is that? the fascination with it being like a like a I think, old sorcerer dude instead of like you know a hot chick who does really good? I makeup? think they go well if this makeup tutorial can make this <laughs> warlock look like a princess. <laughs> That's a good point. It can work for me. If that makes Tweedledee and Tweedledum can look hot, so can I. Yeah. yeah. If that can make that ghoulish creature look okay, <laughs> you make a ghoulish creature look like a woman. <laughs> I sh as an actual woman, <laughs> yeah. I should have a fighting chance. At least a step forward. God damn it, man. Let's see what he looks like by the end of it, huh? He looks hot. <laughs> he needs some eyebrows. Unanimous decision. Oh, well, Guys. The, his, his, Guys. Little, his little helper. Like, God. <laughs> his little helper. His little helper. Oh, unfollow me, queen. Unfollow, unfollow me before I follow you. You're not good enough. <laughs> oh, my God, Ricardo. <laughs> oh, you look amazing. You look fabulous. Oh, my God. They're frightening me. Yeah, dudes doing makeup are it's it's, it's always it's been amazing. It's always but been... that's totally what it is. It's probably that exact thinking. I'm like, why else? Or is it the fact that I guess you get the girls, but then you also get you know guys into make you get like a little bit more out of your audience than just mm -hmm. like a girl doing girl makeup. Yeah, you get like the guys who are in the drag like glam stuff. It, yeah, but that's a niche audience. That's a very small community. Yeah, I'm, he's definitely appealing more to women. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, I can't explain it. Kim well, Kardashian and Kanye West show off I their was, house. God damn it. I was just thinking, I have not seen the Kardashians in the news in a long time. Life is good. Well, yeah, life is great. Yeah. Wow, his head got weird. Looks like somebody ran a, a cheese grater over his head. <laughs> Kanye, what the fuck are you doing? What, here, what's wrong with his mustache? Is it glued on? <laughs> he had a... Yeah, it does look weird. He's got like weird makeup going on. Yeah, someone touched up his like chin area. <laughs> Dude, it's all like he just hung out gross. with the last guy his, we saw. His skin's all patchy. <laughs> Yo, I just got bit. <laughs> Dude, his hair looks like it took a long time to do. Oh, get man. that design like just right. Fight with a mountain lion. I always wondered what people who are this rich, what does their house look like? It looks like it's a just museum. A fucking giant empty museum. Yeah. Yeah. They make it look. They make their ho their home look like a museum. And we don't live but, in any room. Like, yeah, you're not allowed to sit anywhere. <laughs> it takes me half an hour to walk from my room to the kitchen. Like, look at this. No doors. This is, uh, yeah, this bedroom is just in the living room. <laughs> this would suck, if I'm being honest. Wait, how many kids like do they have? God Jeez, damn, she has a butt is diaper. Insanely massive. And I think I, I watched a little bit of this. I caught one part where she's like, I, my biggest pet peeve is when people only care about my butt. Oh, that's okay. unfortunate. We'll stop wearing shit like that. I didn't show. know they had so many kids, too. What? I forgot. I thought they had one. Oh, yeah. 
He's got a billion kids. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, where's all the music, Kanye? Oh, it's kids. He's a family man. Did you guys ever see Kim when she was like 18, 19? Yeah. She looks completely different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's got a lot of work <laughs> she looks done. insanely different. And it cracks yeah. me up to this day because they're still like, nah, we have not had butt injections. Natural. All natural. Bitch, your shit is a diaper drooping over. Dude, this place looks like it would be spooky at night, huh? Yeah, Look at this echoing. hallway. Look at this, dude. She lives in a fucking empty museum. Like, imagine marble. being a little, what is it, little Northwest? <laughs> a little Southwest. <laughs> a little Southwest Airlines walking down the hallway. Oh, what a crayon. Oh, oh, God. Just oh, marking yeah. up these walls, dude. This looks like a canvas. Their, their hallway is bigger than my house. Yeah. <laughs> More square footage than my house. It's so weird. Like, this so is weird just an every... empty room with a twelve thousand dollar couch. It's look, it's weird that everything's white. It's just creepy. It's just sterile. This piano looks like it's probably worth a million dollars. And the guy's like, "How are you doing with piano?" She's like, "I took one lesson. I quit." It's boring. <laughs> it's boring. So have I you guys heard that Kim, make Kim Kardashian's currently going to school to be a lawyer, guys? Wouldn't you want to be represented by Kim Kardashian? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, I was distracted uh, by the defense attorneys. My client, oh. Jeffree Star, will not be called a warlock. <laughs> a warlock? This kitchen is fucking insane. The walls are stainless steel. You could throw an egg at the wall, probably cook it. <laughs> insane house. I was just wondering. I was like, yeah, uh, when you're that, when you're a power couple like this. What does your yeah. fucking house look like? I mean, That's the, it? the video is called 73 Questions. Um, all 73 questions would be about, if it was me asking, it would all be about the house. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You can see she has weird tits. Yeah, dude, she's a mom. Look at her, no, look what? at her nipples. People like, are you sucking, can see her nipples? She's sucking life out. How about you pop out a few kids and let's see your tits, Pops? So <laughs> judgmental. I'll show you my tits if I can get $30 million. Someone's got to suck on them first. If I could live in a big empty museum, I'll show my tits. Yeah. See, look at them. They're yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I always wondered. She's still hot, though. Uh, well, to to be fair, that uh, house is, looks very cool, but uh, not much going on. Very plain. Very empty. <laughs> very, not much in there. Uh, it's the same Avengers trailer. Yeah, we've seen it. You guys have seen it. Pikachu, Pokemon. <clears throat> they're showing off more Pokemans. Okay. I think if they're doing this route, they got to show so many P Pokemon in this movie, like a, an insane amount. I, I think that's the best I way to go. I feel like it's not even that much work, huh? I don't think so. These look like very easy to model and stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, well. That, that Charizard, Charizard looks weird. It I looks don't like, like a, him being like a so briefcase. scaly. Hey, it looks like shoes, like crocodile shoes. He does look weird, but I feel like they did do a good job of what he would look like in real life. Yeah, dragons have it's scales. Nice he almost looks, like, um, he almost looks like a guy showing up at a Pokemon party with a suit on. A little bit. A little bit. Ah! <laughs> hey, what's going on? Pikachu looks the best. Yeah. I didn't know he was a mouse type. Mm hmm A mouse type. Side dog looking creepy as fuck. I look looking weird, man. I don't know, man. They're getting yeah, a little too I mean, real with these. It looks a bit Howard Ooh, the I didn't Ducky. See I didn't see that one. That Squirtle looks pretty good. Squirtle Actually, looks kind of yeah. interesting. But yeah, they're going to have to show a lot of Pokemon. Right. It's, it's crazy considering there's like 700 of those motherfuckers. Good luck. A lot of them. It's a um, lot of cute bombs. It, it looks like it's mostly Generation 1, though. Which is fine. That's enough to play with. Yeah. Well, oh, damn, yeah, they yeah. are showing a lot of them. Whoa, dude, yeah, there's a lot of Pokemans in this goddamn movie. Is this going to come out around the same time the game on the Switch comes out? Let me uh, see. If they're smart, yeah. Do not have a date yet? May, May 10. 10. Okay, May 10. Mm. Well, I'll we, be seeing we that. To, yeah, we have to see it. Gotta be Just seeing cause, that. Because Pokemans. I'm Joker. interested to see exactly where they take that direction because they could really do anything with that franchise. We're flying through. Did we watch this one? No. We, we have not. never talked about the Joker. No. We kept, we kept getting so many questions mother, about what I think about the Joker me. trailer. Oh. The smile. I'm sure we talked seeing about Joker's relationship with his mom. That's... They could do like a really dark thing. Like I'm sure they're gonna do something really dark. Um, I mean, how many people bathe their mom like this? It's pretty dark. I think it's. it's weird. I think it's very quaint and it's very much a bonding. The water's experience. not even that high. Her titties are out. <laughs> <laughs> she could be wearing a bathing suit. Her tits are out, dude. <laughs> she she's having a good time. Wait, is that his mom? I don't even know if it's his mom. Did Maybe it's, it's his, his girlfriend. Mom? You don't know. Maybe it's his my really mother. old girlfriend. No, he says my mother. Me. To wash her, to wash her tits. <laughs> yeah, I never knew. God damn, does he have a creepy body? 
Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine Good the job. director's notes? <laughs> All right, Damon. So for this role, we need you to get achieve the body type of creepy. Okay. <laughs> We're going to so, need you to lose about 80% of your weight. Yeah. Here's a creepy workout plan. <laughs> pizza one day, starve yourself three days. <laughs> yeah. Beer one day, starve yourself another we, day, then pizza on again. We really want to see that spinal cord in this <laughs> shot. Really want to see yeah. it. You got to work on your workouts, flexibility. <laughs> for workouts, bathe your mom. Yeah. <laughs> really start, work those Start getting weird with it, you know? Start really sudden her up. <laughs> yeah, I never really knew Joker's. All I know is he's the guy who fell in the vat of goo. And it made him laugh. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to see them attack. Are they gonna do uh, that angle? Because I think no, that's fucking stupid. They're not. They're doing that. Oh, he no, has like no. he has a mental illness. But I, I think I said this before. I think that it's kind of weird that they're diving so much into his backstory. Because like I said, Joker, I feel like is a better character that like you don't know why he's crazy. Because then he's more mm. like you, you you don't know what he's gonna do next. And this one, it's like they're really diving yeah. into everything that makes the Joker the Joker. Mental illness. Yeah. So my favorite part of the Joker is you don't know exactly how far he will be going. Yeah, he's really unpredictable because you don't know how crazy he is because you don't know what he's been through. Yeah. Because he likes doing it so much. He gets yeah. off on it. Yeah. Right? He in, he literally enjoys it. But this one, it's like he just he just he's crazy. Dude. Look at his back. This dude's back. When they had the actors come in for the part, this is probably how they had them all lined up on a bench. All right, which all right. back is the creepiest? Get your spines out, boys. All right, everybody, you're Damn. getting a physical today. It's fucking crazy, man. He's doing that shit where you like flex your um, what are those things? Traps. Little those little wings in the back. Lats. These Laps things and here. Traps. These thingies. I don't know what they're called. He must have lost a lot of weight for this role. Or is it getting Looks out? like it's creepy. it. Creepy. They're out there. Oh. Yeah. God, he's got weird muscles in his back. God, how do you make your back look scary? That's oh, wow. a fucking achievement right there. I think he was hunching over a lot. Slow dancing with your mom that you bathed while yeah. spooky music's playing. Well, I'm, I'm, getting, like, I'm getting uh, psycho vibes. Well, dressing yeah. like Andy Well, Kaufman. there's one thing that's for sure, fella. Ooh, mm. Yo, Zazzy Beats, how you doing, girl? Joker loves that dark child. These look like a pair. <laughs> look at these two. She's like, you're so funny. This is what, wow. this is what happens when you meet people through Tinder. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. And he's like, yes. I bathe my mother. And she's like, ha, you funny. She, <laughs> it, on Tinder, it was the uh, the the king from uh, Gladiator, and this is the guy that shows up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got catfish. The, the thumb down, <laughs> move right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have a hair lip? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I noticed that's why he had a mustache in a lot of his movies, mm. too. Like oh, that movie wow. Her. Oh, wow. He's rocking that stash. He got that cleft lip. Never noticed. That's like a pretty common thing, huh? People yeah. get born with like their nose. It's more common than you think. Nose. Like the lip doesn't attach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this, little, this little dip. You got to grow yourself dip. a little facial hair. You're good to go, boy. <laughs> that's an easy surgery when you're a little baby. Yeah. Arkham State Hospital. Dude, this looks cool, man. Oh, it's like, pretty, this looks dope. It's interesting that they turned the asylum into a hospital in this in this, in this universe. That's a cool shot. This is cool. That's Careful cool where you pause Saying it. Saying so much. It was with a still shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's balls. <laughs> it's gross balls. <laughs> Motherfucker, you crazy. Is Batman going to be? Batman won't be in it. Uh, no. Maybe the very, very, very like last like he shows up when he does something terrible. Yeah, because even if you do an anti-hero movie, there's some opposing thing. It can't just be this happened and then this happened and then he's evil at the end. I saw a lot of people saying that uh, the little kid that he like he's like talking to, they're saying that that's Bruce Wayne as a child. So Batman's like a little kid when this all happens. All right, he would have to kill his parents, which would oh no, he no didn't Joker shoot doesn't his kill his parents. He never did that. He does in the Tim Burton movies, which is weird. That always Wait, that's not with that's me. not canon though. That's true. That's true. That always fucks with me. Everybody's loving that laugh. Can we hear that laugh. It's a pretty good Joker laugh. <laughs> that looks <laughs> look dub. It did look. It means it's totally dub. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think that's the laugh of that shot. No, it's not. No, it looks totally dubbed. I thought this was cool when he was uh, pulling his teeth or his cheeks. He's crying. Yeah. Creepy. A crying clown. That's always cool. Shit goes down on the subway. It's a world star video right here. Yeah, like what's the, po that's my thing is what's the point going to be other than you just watch a man descend into craziness? I think that's probably the whole thing. That's the whole thing, huh? Yeah. 
And everybody's like, oh, no, I can't wait for this nah, film. I love it. I think it. this is it. I think he's going to get revenge on some local mobster guy, right? There's got to so be some... So it's going to be an anti-hero? There has to be some... Not, uh, I don't think it'll he, be anti-hero, but I think someone's going to fuck with him. Like, you've seen the, the, this trailer. See how many people fuck with him? The, I think he's going to do some creepy, awful shit to some of these other criminals. I think, where you don't see him as a hero, you're like, yeah, yeah. whoa, he just fucking cut that guy's whole face off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's not cool either, you know? Mm -hmm. It think, has to. I think it's definitely something like that. I think he's, like, doing something against, against like, the government uh, of Gotham. I'm going to call it. The mayor. Hmm. Someone's going to fuck with his mom. Uh yeah, someone's gonna someone's murder gonna his mom, and then he's before. gonna do something incredibly bad to them. Like he's gonna like grab yeah. someone's mouth and like rip it open. Yeah, or he's gonna like, oh. he's gonna give them the uh, the the smile. I'm hoping that know. he does some gruesome shit. But is this rated R? Uh, I think so. This has to be rated. R. I really hope it is. I would not. I would not make this move if it wasn't rated. But R. yeah, he's, it looks like he's covered in blood. I think he probably killed whoever was fucking with him on the subway right there. See yeah. right here how he's like thrown out of city hall. He's I'm gonna thinking kill a they, few he, 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 yeah, he kills some people like in the mayor's office or some shit like that. Ew! Look at this Gross. dude's body. Gross! <laughs> Fucking creepy body. How do oh, you make baby. your torso just stick out? Your like that? body's so creepy. <laughs> he's got like <laughs> weird spinal. Like <laughs> he's doing a good job of like poking his like chest out, making it look funky. Protruding rib cage. Yeah, dude, Yuck. he's going to get, like, crime justice in a really <laughs> creepy way. That, everybody's saying that that's Bruce Wayne right there. Oh, a lot oh, of him dancing dude, in tidy whitey. Tidy whitey oh. dancing. Flipping his oh. weird dick around in his yeah, tidy whitey. That was the one thing I was missing is, you know, what do you, how do you hurt the Joker? I guess they made that mom character. That's going to have to be it, man. That's going to have to be that last thing. Yeah, the second, th oh, little Robert De Niro. The second that uh, they fuck with the mom, he's going to snap. You already know. You got to tell you really break a character, right? You get him right where it hurts. Oh, he's actually dying the hair. You As go a, after Aunt that May That looks or like some a very shit. taxi driver type of scene right there. That's cool. I didn't even see this. Hmm. It looked dope. He I'm looks trying. like the fucking Joker. I mean, look at his face. Like he's re He really sold his uh, body yeah. to it way more than Jared Leto did. Yeah. Bill, that one. Ugh. Yeah. He does look good, though. Interesting. He it does, he looks like a uh, like a cross between the Jack Nicholson and um, Heath Ledger Joker. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's cool. It's, I'm looking forward to it though. It's got to be tough to be compared to so many so people. many different great actors of that role. That's such a yeah. such an undertaking. Good for him though, because everybody saw this trailer and everybody's like, "Yo, I think he's gonna nail this shit." Good. Oh, I hope the movie's great. Yeah, me too. Um, let's see. I'll save some of these other things for next time, but guys. 420's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Got to get ready. And, Getting uh, ripped and roaring, Get dude. these lungs ready, bro. It's one of our favorite YouTubers. Custom Grow 420, Legit, boys. the only <laughs> marijuana-themed channel on YouTube I, I actually know about and actually like their content. Hold on. Can, just, can I just pause the video real quick? Can I just say something? He's so fresh with it. He's got the bright yellow cap, mm -hmm. the bud way, <laughs> burn, burn fresh. Burn He's fresh. just fresh to death guy's surrounded it. by bongs. He's got some sort of pure crystallized something in front of him god knows what it is some 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 sort of crystallized something probably meth I don't super know. dabs and he's going to torch them and smoke it through a so, he's gonna suck it through a gatorade bottle. so gatorade i'm used bottle. to like uh i'm used to smoking pot in the in the joint form or in a bong like manner I'm not used to this. What, what am I looking at? He's torching butter what? knives. You know, get your butter knives nice and hot and crispy before you toke up. And where do I get this Gatorade mouth bib? This guy's this videos guy, crack us up, This man. guy is very advanced. It, like, it, it, I feel it's like so you're gonna, fascinating. I feel like you're going to breathe in the metal of the butter knife shit. Oh, uh, don't worry. It's stainless steel. Like, I feel like watching this guy get high, it's always like a scientific experiment. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? How is he doing this? Okay. It looks like Bob the Builder if he got really high. He's got <laughs> butter knives are crispy hot. He's picking up a little a little dab of doo. And that's how he does it? Wow. He scoops a little dab of doo into a Gatorade bottle and inhales it. <laughs> he got a lot in him. Yeah, oh! him. <laughs> is, there good point, guys. <laughs> is there a point when like you, you can't get any more? Hold on, let me, yeah, let me hear that toke. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! I think he does the knives afterwards, like dinner time, <laughs> like cleaning uh. his samurai blades. 
Yeah, this guy's fucking challenging. Jolie Oli, Custom Grow 420. Shouts to the homie. Shouts to the homie. Yeah, man. Dude Killing rips. It. Killing it. Dude hits four footers, five footers, five fifties like he's nothing. Dude out here living the dream. So yeah, don't miss our 420 stream. It'll be lit af. We it, filmed a lot of skits. Dude, a lot he's of... doing like three of them now. <laughs> we'll be doing scientific experiments just like this one. Uh oh, he's done. He's gonna be high for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be high forever. Oh, oh, He's man. high for good. Oh, oh, That's good medicine. Oh, that was fat. Oh, oh man. dude, when this guy Fuck says it. when this guy says it's oh, fat. When it's oh, hot, it's man. hot. When this guy says it's uh, fat, you're uh, fucking done. Smoke it loud, bro. Thank you all for watching this episode of yeah. another fantastic podcast. Almost forgot each word as I said it. <laughs> Um, it was a good one. That's hey. it for us. Hey, we're out hey. of here. Yeah, I made yeah. this beat myself. Thank yeah. you, all the oh. patrons. Everyone, on the Patreon. We're gonna make this a regular thing. In this section of the Patreon, ask a question for next week, and then we'll answer your question. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make it a reoccurring thing. So get the Patreon involvement, yep, and because yep. you guys get early access to it, you get those early questions. So let's do it. So at least one question every week. Questions. Until next time. Peace. Love you. Happy 420. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Catch you.